The first thing I do when I roll out a tile is I get out my wooden mold that I carved using a rotary tool called a Fordham. And after it's all carved, I mount it to a backing board so that it doesn't get all warped as it ages. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my mold down with a mold release. This helps to make sure the clay doesn't stick when it's wet and rolled on top. All right, so that's all done. Now we're going to roll out the clay. So I have the clay in between a smooth sheet of bonded paper and canvas. So I'll put them through this big rolling machine called slab roller. And I'll just try and evenly press it. This will make a nice even sheet of clay to work with on the mold. This is 25 pounds of clay that I'm starting with. And I'm just going to fix up that little wrinkle. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll put the clay on top of the mold. So I'm just going to get it loosened up from the canvas in the back so that when I go to lift it, it doesn't give me any strange spots. And I know I don't need this part, so I'm going to cut off extra clay and put it on my table for later. All right. So very carefully lifting the piece of clay and putting it on top of the mold. This mold in particular is about two feet all around, so I don't want to have the clay fall short of the edge of the mold. So I'm going to just attach a piece just to make sure as I'm rolling I get enough clay to cover where the mold is. All right, then my press, otherwise known as a really large rolling pin. First thing I do is I go one direction from the center out. And then from the center and back. And I'll do that just another time. Next I'll go from the center in the opposite direction. Working the clay evenly. Edge to edge, but not too hard at the edges. Then I'm going to go from the middle in a diagonal pattern. This just works the clay well into the mold and stretches it in every direction because it's going to shrink, but at least if I do it this way, it'll shrink more evenly in every direction. All right, so I have a little bit of a weak spot from lifting the clay, so I'm going to patch that up real quickly with, my, with a little scrap of clay from the edge. This is not fancy. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take my palm and work the clay into all the little grooves in the mold. This serves two purposes other than to make noise. It works the clay into all the detail and it also breaks the surface tension on the back of the clay so that you're less likely to get cracks and fractures when you're firing. Since this tile has an edge detail, I wanted to make especially sure that I got the clay worked into the edge. All right, let's have a look. The next thing I'll do is I'll cut the excess clay off from the edge of the tile using my needle tool. And I'll remove that and recycle that later. Okay, here's the hard part. Now I have my clay cut to the size of the mold and I'm going to take the whole thing, flip it over and put it on a movable board. Okay, now comes the mold release part. 
I'm going to just start the clay away from the mold. And gravity should give me a helping hand here. As I pull the mold away, the clay will drop gently away from the mold. And there it 